Hello, friends. I hope you have enjoyed your St. Patrick's Day. I'm Christopher Albright, your church council chair, and I'm here pinch hitting for Pastor Doug on this week's weekly message. You know, in a little over a week, on March 28th, we're going to celebrate Palm Sunday, the day in which Jesus triumphantly enters Jerusalem. John 12, 13, talking about that day, says, They took palm branches and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. While fleeting, it was a joyful, celebratory moment. And in that same spirit, it gives me great joy to tell you that Wesley will be able to reopen to worship and celebrate Palm Sunday with you. With a number of COVID infections declining, the church council has met and decided that in-person worship can begin again starting on Palm Sunday, March 28th. We will continue to follow all established social distancing guidelines and will be requiring masks. So if you, if you do come, make sure you bring a mask. If you forget, that's fine. We have plenty of masks for you. Um, if possible, uh, we will ask you like before to RSVP. If you forget and decide on Sunday you, you wanna come even though you have an RSVP, please come. We will not turn anybody away if they have an RSVP. We do ask, though, uh, if you do know, to let us know so we can certainly plan appropriately uh, for your arrival. There is a schedule uh, to come. We do have some very special services uh, to bring you, obviously, during this Easter, uh, upcoming Easter season. Uh, on Easter Sunday at 7 a.m. and at 9 a.m., we will be offering services uh, for you. Um, so please do show up in person if you are able to. If not, it will be streamed online. All of these services, even though we're making our return to in-person uh, worship, everything will be streamed online. So please feel free to, to catch us there uh, as well. Um, again, like I said, there are there is a schedule, and look for your email uh, on Facebook, uh, as well as the Wesley website, wesleyum.org, uh, for all of uh, the information uh, that you may be looking for. So anyways, with that, I have a few uh, announcements. I wanted to let you know, uh, if you have any prayer requests, uh, there are three ways you can get them to us. Um, one way is to email Barb Hammaker. Uh, you can email Pastor Doug or certainly the church office as well. Uh, a few names to keep in your prayers, and I'm not going to go over every name, just, just a few. We had some newer uh, ones on the list. Um, Denny Hunsinger, uh, who is on dialysis, uh, rushed to the hospital uh, with COVID and pneumonia. Um, Nancy Schellenberger's sister-in-law also um, is struggling with covid uh, Buddy Alexander, who is recovering from a heart attack. Uh, Cynthia Parson, who recently uh, had hand surgery. She is recovering at home. Uh, Melinda Kern's sister, Candy. Uh, she is in the hospital currently being treated for COVID and pneumonia. Please keep her as well in your prayers, as well as all of the doctors and medical staff continuing to work with COVID patients. We do appreciate all of your prayers. And as we know, prayer works and uh, prayer is definitely needed today. Uh, wanted to tell you in case you haven't been able to watch any of the services online, Pastor Doug has been following uh, the way, walking in the footsteps of Jesus. It's a series uh, that is was written by Adam Hamilton. Um, there are a couple of copies left, I'm told, uh, of Adam Hamilton's book. Um, if you would like it, you might want to stop in the church office and claim one before the series ends. Uh, you can also uh, join Jeff Miller's Sunday School class as we are uh, currently studying that as well. So if you would like to join that, you can get in touch with Jeff. 
uh, or myself as well, and we can we can get you uh, set up with the with the Zoom connection. The Women's Book Club uh, is meeting on Monday evenings, and if you would like to join that discussion, you can uh, get in touch with Debbie Moore, and she can get you the login information uh, so that you can be a part of the discussion. Wesley Preschool is holding a fundraiser at Haas's Steak and Sea House. That's coming up this Sunday, as a matter of fact, the 21st uh, from 11 until 8. Um, you'll see here the Wesley Weekly Witness. You will want to take this with you. Uh, on the back side, there is a coupon where it says Wesley Preschool Fundraiser. Uh, make sure that you cut that out and take that with you. Um, and a percentage of the sales, of course, will go towards the Wesley Preschool uh, to help them in their mission. Uh, and lastly, I wanted to tell you about Vacation Bible School. It is set for July 18th through the 22nd. Uh, they're still in need of some more volunteers. You can contact Amy Whitworth for complete details on how you can hope, um, how you can help rather. Uh, we'll take hope as well. Um, for any uh, recap of, of this information, you can go to different places. You can go to our Facebook page. Uh, just search for Wesley UMC Marysville. Uh, you can go online, wesleyum.org, or you can go on YouTube and just search for Wesley United Methodist Church uh, Marysville. And also, in case you don't know, you can email the church office at wesleyum.office at gmail.org. So some big things uh, coming your way, uh, as we said, beginning uh, March 28th, and we're, we're certainly excited uh, about that. And uh, watch your email uh, and the website and uh, Facebook, wherever you get your information uh, for a complete schedule uh, as we move forward. Thank you, friends. Shall we close our time together in prayer? Dear Lord, we thank you for this time that we can spend together. We thank you for the opportunity to renew our spirits and renew relationships with brothers and sisters that maybe we haven't seen in a while. It will be good, Lord, to be able to come back together and worship as a church. We know that the pandemic still has a ways to go, but we are encouraged by the declining infection rates and the rising number of individuals who have been vaccinated. Lord, we pray that each of those trends continues and that we may safely worship together. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you, friends.